Hello students, before we will move on to our topic, I have here a short song that will serve as a clue to our lesson. It also serve as our warm-up exercise. Okay, please, please participate everyone and please stand up. Okay. Jesus, you died upon the cross and rose again to save the lost. Forgive me now of all my sin, can be my Savior, Lord, and friend. Change my life and make it new, and help me, Lord, to live for you. Change my life and make it new, and help me, Lord, to live, to live for you. Okay, for that song, students, what have you observed? Do you think this song is related to our topic? If you think so, then you're correct. But I will not tell you yet, okay? Because I have also here um, another short paragraph for you to serve, uh, for you to find a clue of what will be our topic for today. Okay, please listen. And you can observe anything based on the paragraph that I will read. Okay. I have a younger sister named Anna. She is beautiful like me. Sometimes I take good care of her when mother is not around. I give her food when she is hungry and let her sleep. When she is asleep, I serve myself for dinner and do my assignments after eating. Taking care of a younger sister is somewhat tiring, but she is my responsibility. Okay, students, based on what you have heard, what are your ideas about your observations? What did you observe about this short paragraph about the song? Okay, everyone, you can stand up if you want to speak. Okay, thank you for your ideas. Based on the paragraph, you can observe that there are highlighted or bold words. What do you think of that bold words? Yes? Maybe? Anyone, you can stand up if you want to speak. Okay, thank you for that answer. Your answers are all correct. The bold words are called pronouns. They are examples of pronouns. Then, from the song that we sang while ago so what have you observed are there pronouns in that song from that song yes for example stand up daniel what are those pronouns um yes can you repeat this this song jesus you died upon the cross so what is there pronouns in that in that phrase or in that sentence yes you is a pronoun jesus you died upon the cross rose again to save the lost forgive me is a pronoun of all my sin and can be my savior lord and friend change my life and make it new and help me lord to live for you Change my life and make it new and help me, Lord, to live, to live for you. So, what have you observed? Is there pronouns in, from that song? Yes. So, now, do you, do you know what is pronouns? So, students, what are your ideas about pronouns? Well, pronouns are, sub are words that substitutes or takes place a noun or another pronoun. For example, I, she, he, you, me, etc. are examples of pronouns. Um, students, anyone who can um, stand and, s and tell me what are other examples of pronouns? Yes, honey, themselves are examples of pronouns. How about you, Camille? Yes, um, yourselves are examples of pronouns. All your answers are examples of pronouns. Well... 
We just not simply use pronouns. We have to use it accordingly and appropriately. To use these pronouns, we have to know, learn, and understand all their types. At this moment, we will be discussing the seven types of pronouns. There are types of pronouns, namely personal pronouns, relative pronouns, demonstrative, indefinite, reflexive, intensive, and interrogative pronouns. First type of pronouns is personal pronouns. Personal pronouns are pronouns that substitute or takes place um, a proper noun. For example, instead of Anna, we can use she because she is a girl. And if boy, for example, Jan, we can replace it into he. He is handsome. Yes. And then, there are examples of personal pronouns. For example, he, I, she. Those are words that substitute proper nouns. And there are also three types of personal pronouns, namely subjective pronouns, objective and possessive personal pronouns for sub for the subjective personal pronouns for the word itself sub subject we can say that the um pronoun we use is the doer of the action for example anna is dancing we can replace it into she is dancing to avoid the repetition of the name anna then for the Objective personal pronouns, these are pronouns or words that is the reserve of the action. For example, the pen is given to her. Her is the objective personal pronouns because he or her is the receiver of the action. The third one is the possessive personal pronouns. For the word possess or the um, a person that owns something, for example, that pen is mine. Mine is the possessive personal pronouns. Can you give an example of the three different types of personal pronouns? For the first one, the subjective personal pronouns. Um, Rita, can you give an example of um, subjective personal pronouns? Yes, you're correct. Your example is... A subjective personal pronouns. How about you, Danielle? Example of objective personal pronouns. Yes, you're right. Your example is correct. How about you, Melvin? Yes. The second type of pronouns is relative pronouns. This makes up another class of pronouns. They are used to connect relative clauses to independent clauses. For example, whom, who which, that, etc. Um, for example, the woman who helped me is now my friend. The relative pronoun there is who, for it connects the, um, the name, the woman, the name woman. Um, relative pronouns, they often introduce additional information about something mentioned in a sentence or relates the subject to clearly emphasize its connection um students can you give me an example of um relative pronouns yes very good that is an example of relative pronouns excellent okay now we will move on to the third one which is demonstrative pronouns so what is demonstrative pronouns so demonstrative pronouns are Point to or identify a noun or a pronoun. For example, um, this, those, that, and which are examples of demonstrative pronouns. Um, they point out something. For example, um, they can replace, for example, um, instead of she she is perfect you can say that this is perfect or for example you refer to a to a delicious food for example this is delicious you cannot um you you do not you don't need to mention delicious food instead you may say this is so delicious this 
this is the um, example of demonstrative pronouns. So the fourth one is indefinite pronouns. These are pronouns that have no specific number or person, or it can be referred to none. For example, somebody, nobody, everybody. So that's the example of indefinite pronouns. We cannot figure out the exact number of people or nouns, so we can use those pronouns. And then, pan, the next type of pronouns is reflexive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns refer back to the subject of the sentence or clause. For example, he cooks food for himself. The um, reflexive pronoun of he is himself because we cannot connect him herself from he because he related to a boy so we can connect it to himself he himself her herself then the next one is the intensive pronouns intensive and reflexive pronouns are quite um similar or quite um close to each other because intensive pronoun also for example is myself himself but let us see the difference between them intensive pronouns are used to emphasize their antecedents for example the antecedents i is followed by the intensive pronouns myself i myself used to wash dishes you yourself then they themselves those are examples of intensive pronouns then the last one is the interrogative pronouns these are pronouns used to ask questions for example who is your father who is your mother what is your favorite book then that, that is the example of interrogative pronouns um any clarifications to, and questions about our topic students so so what is pronouns again pronouns are words that substitute or takes place a noun or another pronoun so there are how many types of pronouns that we discuss yes correct there are seven types of pronouns what are they yes yes the first one is the the first one is personal pronouns then the first one personal pronouns and intensive interrogative demonstrative reflexive indefinite and relative pronouns so what again is personal personal when we talk about i she he himself a substitute for the proper nouns then the relative pronouns is the relations to clearly emphasize the connections of the subject and the pronouns. For ex then, what, then the third one is demonstrative used to find or identify a, pro a noun or pronoun. Then, um, demonstrative and intensive, re reflex, a indefinite, reflexive, intensive, and interrogative. Those are the seven types of pronouns. So now, any clarifications for the last time? Yes, no questions. So it seems that you understand our topic. So now, let's do the activity. Our activity is a collab collaborative activity based from our topic. Before we'll proceed on to our final activity class, um, I have um short um short kind of activity for you to for you to test that you learned something from our topic. Okay. Um I will tell you something some examples of different types of pronouns. Then I will not tell you the the specific type of pronouns. I will just tell you the examples and then you're the one who will um, identify which um, which type of pronouns they belong for example let's have some trials for example um, she he I you 
What are which types of pronouns those words belong? Yes, they belong to personal pronouns. So let's have some again. Um, this these pronouns, um, whom, which, that. Those three pronouns. What, which types they belong? So they belong to relative pronouns. Very good. Um, how about this one? That, this, those. So, what are those types of pronouns? Yes, that's this word. Uh, those words are belong to demonstrative pronouns. Um, another one. How about this one? Um, who, whom, which? Um, for example, who is your father? So what is those what are those examples? Those are type of pronouns which is yes interrogative pronouns. The last one um how about this one? Everybody, nobody, somebody. Which pronoun types of pronouns they belong? Yes, they belong to to what? Yes, they belong to and definite pronouns. Very good students. It really seems that you understand our topic which is about pronouns and the seven types of pronouns. Very good students. You you have a great job. And now let's really test how your understanding and your application of yourselves is going on based on this activity. The collaborative activity. It is your final activity for this moment, okay? So here's the directions. Group yourselves into three and do the following. First, mm, first one is every group shall choose one type of pronoun and each member shall say shall make their sentence with the chosen type of pronouns. The second one is every member of each member of every group shall say this their sen shall say their sentence in front of the whole class. Then the third one the most mis the group who have the most mistake shall dance as a group in front of the class is it quite um interesting yes it is quite fun and and you have to it that uh, it, it will test your understanding from our topic okay now i will give you time to practice and to create your sentence good luck students Okay, wonderful performance, students. I hope that you learned something about our topic for today. And this time, we will dismiss our class and see you for our next meeting. Goodbye, students. Is it quite um, interesting? Yes, it is quite fun. And, and you have to? It, uh, it, it will test your understanding from our topic okay now I will give you time to practice and to create your sentence good luck students okay wonderful performance students I hope that you learned something about our topic for today and this time we will dismiss our class and see you for our next meeting. Goodbye, students! Hello, students! Before we will move on to our topic, I have here a short song that will serve as a clue to our lesson. It also serve as our warm-up exercise. Okay, please, please participate, everyone, and please stand up. Okay. Jesus, you died upon the cross and rose again to save the lost. 
Forgive me now of all my sin Can be my Savior, Lord and friend Change my life and make it new And help me, Lord, to live for you Change my life and make it new And help me, Lord, to live To live for you Okay, for that song, students,